scripture in Philippians 3.14. It says, it, it says um, I press on to reach the end of the race and receive the heavenly prize for which God, through Christ Jesus, is calling us. Uh, I'd like to read another scripture, in, uh, also in Philippians, Philippians 1.21, and it says, For me, living means for Christ, and dying is even better. And, and Paul, he's, um, he's kind of synchronizing these, these, um, these scriptures together. He's saying that, that hey, you know, there's, there's some work to do. There's, there's, there's stuff out there that we have to do. There's still people lost. And um, I'm, I'm going to be that guy to press on. I'm going to be that guy to do the work that Christ has given me. And, and Jesus says in Matthew 24, 14, he says, he says, and the good news about the kingdom will be preached throughout the whole world, and then the end will come. So what Jesus is saying is that, that his message is going to be preached throughout the whole world to everyone, and, and once everyone hears it, it's, it's over. He's going to come back. And so if Jesus is telling us that, Paul understands that, hey, I have some work to do. Christ is handing me some work for me. Christ himself has just has led his work upon us, and it's an honor and privilege to do the work of Christ, to to carry up something that that was that was something that wasn't ours that, that we can't handle on ourselves. But God sustains us, and and God is going to help us do that work because He gave it to us, and He's not going to let us fail if we just hold on to His hand and we keep Him close to us. So so when Jesus is telling us this, it's He's He's prophesying about about the end of days. And, you know, he's telling us all these things. So, so Jesus tells us all these things about what's going to happen. And, and he tells us about his second return. And, you know, that's something that a lot of us want to see. That's something that a lot of us want to, want to experience. And, and he's specifically telling us there that, hey, if you want to experience that, it's, it's up to us to do some work. It's not all, it's not all him. It's, it's up to us, too. We, we have some work. And, you know, the work ain't easy. There's, there's going to be problems. There's going to be trials. You know, we have to press on. I'm pressing on all the way from Victoria, Texas. You know, you know the, the car ride was long, and it wasn't easy. But God has sustained me all the way over here. And, you know, I just want to thank God for that. It's, it's tough facing the persecution, facing, um, facing the drugs, facing the spiritual battle that's out there. But God, God is much greater than that. God, God is just great. He's handed us his work. And it says right here in Philippians 1.6, And I am certain that God, who began the good work within you, will finish it on the day when Christ Jesus returns. So Paul is telling us that, hey, the work ain't finished until Jesus returns. And when Jesus returns, we're done. You know, we're good, and we're going to experience something greater than, than this earth, these feelings. We're going to experience heaven, we're going to experience true eternal worship of God. And, and you know, God is just so amazing. He works in so mysterious ways that, that we don't understand. I don't understand all this, but I, I know that I have to press on for God. I know that I have to, that there's still souls out there that are, are not saved, that, that are still dying and going to hell. And what am I doing about it? Sitting around, watching TV. I'm not going to sit around and watch TV. I'm going to go out there and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to preach to someone. I'm going to tell someone, hey, you know, Jesus is out there for you. He's looking for you. He wants you. And he loves you. And, and that's the message that, that, that we have to bring. And that's the message that the Holy Spirit has placed in our heart. That we can't just be lounging around just waiting for someone else to do it. It's really our job because Christ passed it on to us. Not, he passed it, on, passed it on to everyone, but for us specifically, me specifically, you specifically, to, to handle some work that, that just, it, it, might, it might be crazy, it might be easy for some people, but but it's all the same. All the work. We still have to take this message to people all around the world that are just dying out there, that are starving, that are just beaten down. And, and it's up to us to do something about it. And that's what the Spirit has placed in my heart to speak about. Um, I, I just want to thank God for this, this opportunity to be here. Um, you know, it's not easy coming all the way over here. I'm a little nervous. Um, but, but God sustains me, and he's always just there for me, and he's wonderful. He's an amazing God. And I can't explain how much I love him. Words aren't, words aren't enough. But once I get into heaven, I can just worship him eternally. And it's, it's going to be such a great feeling. And I want to feel that for myself. Don't you want to feel that for yourself? The only way that we're going to feel that, we're going to experience that, is, is through through us doing some work for him. Because he did some work for us and he died.
that brought to the table the Western uh, export trade gap. 